I just came back from a trip to, to Europe meeting some beekeepers. 99% still uses the old style. They don't want to use plastic. So when you ask the uh, Austrian beekeeper or Danish beekeeper or German, would you guys like to use, or have you used plastic? Oh no, no way. I mean, talk about plastic, you know. They're totally against plastic. So it shows that these people will do the extra work. Of course, they have long winters too, so they need to do something. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse, One of the my interest when I was in Europe. These people melt, in, in the case of Denmark, this guy was taking old frames from beekeepers. Well, they're old, as old as one year. They use them one season, melt them down, put a new foundation in. I mean, they, they go that, to that extreme. Again, they don't want to have any diseases. And number two, they want very nice, light, clear honey. Again, it's a cost-benefit benefit ratio. Do you want to spend that much time redoing all your frames every, every year? I mean, if you run maybe 50, 100 colonies, you might be able to do it. But if you run more than that, it's a little bit of an iffy. But the average is about two years. <coughs> After the second year, they melt everything down, put it stuff from scratch. Which is majorly good. You cannot really see through it, melt it. It's a golden rule. And so what they're observing is this. As bees lay eggs in a cell and bees hatch out, the cocoon stays in the cell every time. And over a period of time, that cocoon makes the cell smaller and smaller, harder and harder, and that's what you're getting rid of. In fact, you're going to have small size cells if you don't do that anyhow. You're going to have smaller size because those cocoons reduce the so circumference of the cell and the depth of it. So, and that's what you melt out. That's the stuff we call slum gum. That and pollen um, and propolis. All of that gets melted out. So